What's up, YouTube? <laughs> so this is going to be the ultimate open bore setup video. So for those of you that don't know, open bore is an emulator which has kind of taken stuff like games like Streets of Rage and enabled people to make their own mods of each game. And there's some really good games. So here is just a example list of games. But they're not officially licensed content it's all freeware so people don't charge for these things so i can actually show you where to get these games from and more importantly how to set them up now as ever i get all my stuff from arcade punk so if you go to arcadepunks.com get the game pack rom sets and packs uh and it should load the page and then scroll down uh, arrange this by newest first so these are kind of like packs and everything you can get. Like I said, the one that we're getting is not official. So it's not licensed in any kind of way. It's basically freeware. Now the pack I would recommend for OpenBot is... Where is it? So this one here. Complete MBU, ROM pack, select what you want. Okay, You can actually get that as a torrent. Then there's actually a lot of content on there. And it's not just OpenBot. But when you do get this pack, just for now, you can just get the open bore selection, okay? The next thing we're going to need to do is get the open bore emulator. Now, if you've been following my previous videos and you've got the Hyper PC setup, you won't need to do this bit. But if you don't have the open bore emulator and you just want to play it straight from the emulator, you can get the open bore uh, download from here. And I'll put a link to this in the description and I'll show you how to mix and match everything so it all works okay if you are using the hyper pc build that i linked on one of my previous videos you'll actually already have this installed so it's in d hyper pc emulators and then open bore now the way open bore works is you want to dump the packs the pack dot pack files into the packs folder so at the moment mine doesn't have any in so I'm going to pull all that across now. So that pack that I linked you actually comes with it all pre-scraped. So you can put the box out, snap and wheel into the open bore folder. Um, but you've just got to make sure that just for this specific emulator, the pack files go into this pack folder here. So you want to copy. Let's just copy the top. Let's just copy those. So just to show you how it's going to work, we just copy all that into there. So open bore packs, and then we're going to change hyper PC to point to that location to check for the ROMs. In that pack that you've downloaded, like I've, uh, I've just literally took the, took the open bore section, but there is a lot of other stuff on there that's pre-scraped as well for you, so you might find some of that useful. Okay, so while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and open hyper PC. So D... Hyper PC, Hyper PI2, okay. And then while this opens, you'll find that the open bore is actually already set up in PC games, open bore. But before we open that, we're gonna click, if you, if you open it straight away, it's not gonna show anything. So we're just gonna click tab real quick, go to emulators and scroll down to open bore. If you're not using Hyper PC setup, you won't have to do any of this. You can just launch the EXE uh, for open bore. Jesus Christ, that's fucking loud. I feel like, you know, no matter how many times I do this, the shit always just gets really fucking loud. Like, I've already halved the volume. Right. Let's back around that way. There we go, that's a more amicable volume. Okay, so if we go down to open bore again. And then go to here. So obviously it's looking in, because I've got the H drive self, it's looking in here. So we're going to have to change this to the executable of open bore. Just for this one. So that is in. So it's in that location for me. And then slash openbore.exe. So if I paste that, 
slash openbow.exe, okay? So if you've got the D drive set up, that's the location you're going to need to do it for. Then your ROM path. So this might have .lnk in it. You need to change the ROM extension to .pack. And then for the ROM path, you're going to have to change that also. So we're going to change that too. So it's dhyperpc openbow packs, okay? Just to give you a visual of what I've done there. I'm pointing it to where I've just put all my openbow ROMs within this location. So it's in this packs folder here, okay? So this is what we're looking to. This is the only emulator you, that you have to do this with HyperPC. All the others are kind of pre-set up. You can leave all your box art and your cart art and everything in the same location. Okay? And then, you may need to generate a new ROM list. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to do that anyway because then mine will show up for sure. So as you can see, these are the, the games that I've copied into here. And all the, it's pulled some of my uh, videos, snaps and all that kind of jazz as well. So now, if we just go ahead and open this, it'll open it in a very small window. And then that should open. Now, on this initial open, you need to set everything how you want it to be, okay? For example, when you open it, it'll probably be in a tiny window. So you want to go to options, change the video options, change the display mode, and also change the filters. I always find that the simple filter looks the best for now. Also change the sound settings, you might want to knock that all the way down. Because that blew me a drums off when I opened it. And then just map your main controller. Okay? This is important. So, with your controller, we're going to do it from Xbox. So, use your up, down, left, right for your D-pad. Attack 1 is in fact let me get you let me show you oh god not this again please i've lost my mouse okay do not t when it's in full screen mode do not fucking tab out for any reason whatsoever right xbox you attack one two three four you need to map them um appropriately so attack one you want that to be either a on the Xbox controller or X on the PS4 controller. Attack 2 you want to be triangle or Y. Attack 3 you want to be L1. Attack 4 you want to be R1. For jump you want either circle or B. For special you want either on the Xbox controller you want X or square on the PS4 controller. I just put start as the start button and screenshot I did a select, okay? So map those in now. Um, I can't do it because I don't have a controller on me. But I'll explain why and you want to just quit that straight away, okay? Now if you ever want to update OpenBow, go to the link in the description and get that uh, thing that I downloaded. And for the Hyper PC cell, all you ever need to do is go into Windows, Open Bow, and copy this and paste it onto the original. Now, the reason I've kind of cut the video and done this is because my Open Bow was really, really fucky, but it was an old version, okay? So this one should be a lot more successful. And another thing you're going to want to do is delete the configs. So just go into the Saves folder and delete the configs. And now if you open this, you can launch this from here or from Hyper PC. It should be a little bit more successful this time. Uh, it didn't seem as crashy as it was before. Uh, so I'm going to go down to, let's do that Streets of Rage one. Okay, I have a lot more open board games than I thought. You can open this from the Hyper PC as well. Uh, I'm just going to open it like this because... I'm going to set the settings first. So video options, display mode, full screen, filter, simple. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Uh, I'm not going to bother messing about with my controls just now. I'll just show you some gameplay. But you can choose your character. So I'll just be Axel. Maybe I should have mapped the controls because I don't actually know what attack it is. Oh, it's A. Okay. 
But yeah, as you can see, uh, it's a pretty cool little emulator. Um, it's all ready to go. You just gotta dump all your files in that location that I mentioned. I don't know what my special is. Oh, that's one button. Okay. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, yeah, make sure you map a control pad. Oh, there we go. It's so I think backspace will start on a keyboard. I don't know. And then it'll do all that. And then you can quit. So that was that. That was the open bore up and running. No, but I hope you found that video useful. It's a good little emulator when you've got friends around. You can you know map all four controls and then just you know have a bash on some game that some guys made. And um, pretty good, pretty authentic. And I just hope you found it useful in general. All right, catch you later, guys. Take care. Bye.